Welcome to Mama Moments. Today we're going to make some flatbread pizza. We're going to make our own toppings. We're going to make the, the flatbread first. Yes, first we're going to make the flatbread. Thank you, Harpre. And let's go and go, guys. <laughs> um, you're just going to need flour, oil, um, water. And the pink salt. Yeah, salt and some butter. <laughs> So it's real simple. Okay, two cups flour. Can I have keys to it, Mama? Yep. Mm -hmm. One, two. Nope, that's just one. <laughs> Yuda, do you do the second one? Two. Can I please do this one? And then it says half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Here's the teaspoon. Oh, Mama's just going to eyeball it. There we go. Okay. And then you need a tablespoon of oil. We're going to use avocado oil. Can I please do the oil? Sure. How much do Can we Can you need? hold it? We need one tablespoon. Good job. Okay, now I, I'll do this part. We're just going to do the butter. Take your hands and you work the oil with the flour until you get a bunch of little um, crumbs. I will like until we do this video done because I want the toppings. And then we get to taste test them and then we get to eat them. <laughs> That's the good part. You like homemade pizza, huh, Harpreet? Yeah, I do like every kind of pizza. All right. It's they're good. So now we're right. gonna add some water. Now the water varies, but about a fourth cup to start. And then you can add more as you mix it. How much, Judah? Mama. Judah. Mama, how much water cups do we need? I need a little bit more water. Judah, can you pour a little more water in that measuring cup for me? And then a little more? Yep. Uh, you can pour it about halfway. Yep, that's good. And then gently pour just a little bit at a time. Hi, guys. Doo -doo. All right, that's good. I know we're going to roll the okay, water. Okay, you want to add enough water and knead so it, it until uh, elastic flat dough forms. It's flat bread, so we need okay, this rolling no pin. So Thank you roll it to flat. Okay, might have added a little too much water and need a little bit more flour, and that's okay. We don't want it too Can sticky. Can I please dump the flour? Hold on. Actually, that might be okay. And it gets stuck to your fingers, and you just rub it off. <laughs> Yeah, you got rub it off. That's yeah, you want to make sure if you wear um, if you wear a wedding ring, you might want to take that off and put it somewhere safe because um, the first time I made this, it got all gross and stuck. So yeah, remove all rings from before you make this. Yeah, for you do this part because this is the part where you do not wear wedding rings. All right, now uh, we're going to anything. divide. Anything that's pretty, this. do not wear. <laughs> like ready beads. Or bracelets that shiny. Yeah, you do not wear those when you're on this part. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it would get covered in dough. All right, yeah, and then. Get covered with dough. That's right. We're going to break it into four juicy. sections. Uh-huh. Three. OK. 
Okay, you guys will get your own ball. Hold on. Oh, oh own ball? To, yep, yeah. you guys are gonna help me in a minute. I'm gonna try to flatten it. So, Daddy, Mama, Judah, and me. Okay, so normally I use wax paper. We we're all out of wax paper, so parchment paper works too. Just something for you to roll on. Um, you could use a cleaned off table too. I just like the having a surface. Hey, that's cool. And the kids have stickers on theirs to hold them. Okay, so there's a ball for you. And a ball for you. Go ahead and uh, roll it a little bit in the flour. And then press it down. Good job. Push it. Yep, push it down Fresh flat. Down. And then you guys want to roll it? Oh, you want to yeah. use the rolling pin? Mm -hmm. I'll hold your paper. Down. Down. Go ahead. Stickers <laughs> yeah, stickers didn't work very well. Yeah. Okay, now go the other way with the rolling pin. There you go. I'm all done. And kind of push down hard. There you go. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, no, my stickers. It to... my stickers. Oh, that's okay. Now, can I get some of the butter? Yep, you can get some of the butter. Roll the butter on. Go ahead, Harpreet. Good job. Mm -hmm. All right. And you're ready too for the butter. <laughs> All right, that's enough butter. Probably a little less butter next time. Yeah. It's okay. Can you do right. the butter for me, Mama? Just a little bit is all you need. Okay, now go ahead and take the back of the spoon and kind of rub it on there. Or you could actually go ahead and use your fingers, bud. You got clean hands. Go ahead, rub, just rub the butter in. Bunch of butter. Yeah. Oh, um. oh shit. All right. You ready to roll, Harpreet? Good job. All right. Now you gotta. Yep, like a snail shell. Good job. So when you roll it, it should look. Almost like a cinnamon roll or a snail, sh a snail shell is what we say. Uh-huh, that's what you do. And then you just set it aside and then you let them sit for um, anywhere from 15 minutes to um, eight hours they could stand. So you could make this ahead of time before you're ready to, to cook them up. Okay, now we let them sit for a while. Um, I made a couple more batches. Um, I find it easier to make the batch different times than rather, rather doubling them or tripling them because it's harder to mix the flour and get the right consistency. So all you do is you take it and you roll it out. I'm not very good at rolling out dough, but you want to get it kind of thin. And while you're rolling it, you can have your pan um, heating up. I set mine at a little bit over medium high. And then if it's not wanting to roll, you can take your hands and kind of work the, the dough, sometimes that helps. Okay, I think that's, that's pretty good. 
And you're going to take some, I use um, the melted butter again, or softened butter. And just kind of, if you have um, a brush and you want to melt the butter all the way and just brush the, br the butter on, you could do that too. And get one side and then in the pan it goes. And then while it's on there, you can add the other side for the butter. Again, this would be easier if you melted the butter and used a brush, but a spoon works just fine. And then I'm going to turn the heat to medium high now that it's on there. And then you just wait. Okay, so one's done. This one is just about ready to flip. You let it cook for about, mm, I don't know, like two to three minutes. You'll know when it starts to get puffy. And there should be some golden spots. And I'll let that sit and finish cooking, and I'll show you this one right here. This is what it looks like after it bakes. This is great for pizza crust or pretty much anything. You can see the layers. It's super easy and it tastes great.